with a speed booster. I am so confident here. I have so much faith in the crown. Good afternoon, Pokemon Sports, and welcome to the VGC Battle Stadium Regulation F video, bringing you a Yen Mega Team, but not just any Yen Mega Team. We got the Speed Boost, Focus Sash, Dark Terra, Bug Buzz, Tailwind, Hypnosis, Detect the Yen Mega. So this Yen Mega's whole purpose in life is to sit next to Iron Crown. Allow Iron Crown to get the gravity up. Click, click Hypnosis on literally anything that has a pulse, right? Any single Pokemon in the game can go to bed with Hypnosis. The problem with Hypnosis typically is that its accuracy is 60, so the gravity brings the accuracy up to 100 because that's just what gravity do. Not just that. Gravity boosts the accuracy of every move in the game or on the field. So that includes things like Sandseer Storm as well. So we can eventually bring in our landers with Sheer Force Life Orb, start just sand searing everything we see, including flying types, because guess what? Gravity also takes flying types and plops them on the ground as well. This is so much fun, and it looks so much fun. It's essentially the Espathra Sandy Shocks thing that, that you know, Wolf won a regional with, and other players got to play a lot in, like, Series 1 and 2. But with a faster gravity user and a faster speed booster initially that being the yan mega so honestly i can't wait to try this out this looks like it's gonna be an absolute blast not just that it's a size spam team so you know special place in here special place in my heart if you guys are excited to see the yan mega in action also by the way this is by rectangle difference on discord you guys want to go ahead and post the team on the Pokesports sports discord links to that are in the description, or we have a QR code you can, you can scan now, so you can go ahead and scan that QR code in the bottom right side of your screen. So, you know, it might appear here on the channel. You never know. This appeared here on the channel. Rectangle's difference in-game name is Joe Mama. Anyway, if you guys are excited to see Yen Mega in action, go ahead and hit the like button down below, subscribe to Pokesports Channel if already. And with that said, let's get on to today's video. Ursaluna Cresselia. We got the moon team and the neck that reaches the moon team. Golden goes here too. Interesting. Well, I can't put Golden Go to sleep with Hypnosis, unfortunately. I could put the rest of the team to sleep though. <laughs> um, see, I don't know how to start this off. Do I start off with Ndidi and Psy Spam stuff because they have no dark types? And then bring in Mr. Bug Buzz. Or do I threaten them with the Landorus lead? I could even do Dursh in the lead as well. Okay, how about we do this? Let's go... Let's go Iron Crown, Dursh. Bring Dieter, bring... Yen Mega in the back. I like the sound of that. I like the way that looks. I think the Dursh really puts pressure specifically on their trick room on their side of the field not to mention does put pressure on that golden go as well golden go can't just sit in front of my face and try to go for a nasty pot without taking a bunch of damage for it my opponent has gimme going to you know profile pick look at that smug toss gonna go with gouging fire and golden go as their lead all right well i don't want to get heat crashed right about now That would, in fact, be a not great thing for me. All right, they also have booster speed, but we outsped. It's good information, good information. I think I'm going to water tear right away. Yeah, we water tear, we gravity. And I know the gravity might seem pointless, but there's a point to it. It's for the hypnosis in the back. Also, my focus miss, right? That that does help my focus miss. Doesn't help anything right now, but it helps the focus miss. I could have brought Landorus. It would have helped the Landorus, too. All right, the Golden Go might be forced to Terra here, if I had to guess. Maybe even a Fairy Terra against me. All right, here's my Terrestrialization first. That makes sense. Gonna water Terra so that we don't just get immediately obliterated by Heat Crash slash Flare Blitz. Oh, what does the Golden Go do? Also terrestrializes. Okay. Fair enough. What flavor of Golden Go is this? It's Fairy. Okay. Good news is I can Expanding Force it now. 
Bad news is, it's gonna live this hit. Alright, the gravity's in. Wicked Blow's gonna do nothing, but still something. Still something here. Gonna crit, nevertheless. And they snarl me. Oh, okay, they're a snarl set. Now that complicates this a little bit more than uh, it previously was. Especially now that they're nasty plotting here. All right, well, my, my highest damage output would still be a hard swap into Ndidi. And then an expanding force. I think there's still two expanding forces away from going down even after I take a... Um, after I take another Snarl here. We'll see how this plays off. I got to keep my Urshifu nice and healthy, though. So there's still some good news here. The special defense boost should also help me against the, the incoming Snarl and the Make It Rain from this thing. All right, they just protect. Yeah, they're, they're, they're gonna keep snarl spamming me. How much are we doing to the gouging fire though here? That's depressing, okay. Second snarl. I hate this thing. I really do! Okay, what do I do in this situation? I think I have to just helping hand. And see how much I could do here. At least this turn I have to helping hand. Oh, this guy's such a nuisance with the snarl. And I'm helping him with this accuracy too. Listen, that's Chip. The third snarl. That that that's a little sad. All right, they finally click make it right in here. Yikes, dude! Crit. Okay, you get the crit. I see how this goes. All right, that's always fun. You get the crit plus two. Make it rain. Meanwhile, I'm here struggling to try to get an expanding force out. All right, let's go back in the Yan Mega or go in the Yan Mega period. And let's just hard swap into my Ursh now. I don't think they click make it rain again. Another one more snarl knocks out my Pokemon and they don't have to take my expanding force damage if that's the case. Problem is I have to put this gouging fire to sleep. I have no other choice. Because until I do, Brother's going to keep doing damage and snarling me. All right, there's a Protect. Now, I could either put that to sleep or I could blow it up. I have the option to do both. Because I can't put Golden Go to sleep, unfortunately. Tell you what, I'm putting you to sleep. That's that. Yeah, let's put him to sleep and let's just sack my Ndidi off. And then after the Ndidi gets sacked, I can start expanding force again. They're actually swapping the Golden Go out. Interesting. Maybe they think I have Poison Jab or something. I don't. Interesting situation. They Breaking Swipe? That's fine. Because now I get to put something else to sleep. <laughs> I get to do it again! Maybe. Depends on how many turns I got left of uh, Gravity. I think I have a couple turns left. I definitely want to put the Crest to sleep. That's for sure. Gravity return to normal. Okay, that is kind of sad. Maybe I should just bug buzz. I don't know. I don't know. I can just go into Durst, right? But I want to make sure I can expanding force. Yeah, let me go into the expanding forcer first. Do I go for the raw hypnosis? This is a little risky. 
Mm. You only live once, am I right? Let's do it. All right, fast asleep. Yeah! Yeah, the Mega, this is your video, baby. That's what we like to see. That's good. Expanding force? Do something. Okay, that's fine. I think. Weirdness disappears now. Okay. A tailwinds. And I just finished the gouging fire. Let's get the tailwind up for my back line. I also need the crest to be asleep for one more turn. I think it will be. I'm also curious how much a bug buzz is gonna do here. All right, cool. It is still asleep. I don't think I can knock a crest out with just one bug buzz. I'll be real. Yenmega is still Yenmega. <laughs> you know, it's still not the greatest Pokemon around. All right, Blurs is here, or just regulars, actually. I'm going to bug buzz, and I'm going to miss. <laughs> no, they protect, right? They protect every day of the week there. So I'm going to bug buzz, and I'm going to gravity this turn so that I cannot miss next turn. Yeah, okay. If Crest could stay asleep for one more turn, this would be literally ideal for obvious reasons. Oh, that's a two of KO two. Okay, I got my gravity in. Yeah. Cause now we go for the focus miss. Except we ain't missing it. All right, I can't sleep the bear. But I can bug buzz the other one and focus blast the bear. Yeah, and Mega's actually putting in some serious work right about now. If this bug buzz is a 2 KO, we are in such a good spot. They're actually going to swap out the crest. They're going to leave the crest asleep. Interesting. I don't mind getting damage off here on this Golden Go, though. Okay, well, that wasn't much, but hey. Sure was something. Focus Blast now. Don't be a Solvest. You're not because you're Flame Orb. They EQ their own Golden Go. Are you sure about that, bud? Okay. You forgot the gravity? Even if that was a Crest, they sacked their Golden Go. That had to be a mistake. Fine, congrats, you knocked out my Iron Crown. You just opened the doors for this Urshifu. <laughs> I don't mind. Now here's the question, who do I target? It's definitely the bear, right? It definitely has to be the bear. If this crest hits me with the ally switch, then GG. They've earned it. All right, let's bug buzz. Let's just wicked blow the bear and call it a day. Battle was canceled. Okay, Yan Mega quite literally winning me that game with the hypnosis spam. Quite literally. I thought I was done for the second I got snarled once, let alone twice, let alone thrice. Good job, Yan Mega. On to the next. Katurn with the Galarian... Zappity Dose. And for a giraffe, okay. A lot of things on their team that don't appreciate a size spam, though. That could be a Dersh. Most likely is a Dersh. Which is a bad matchup, but not an impossible matchup. Listen, I think I just put everything to sleep. Like, I, I, I think I just lead these two at this point. I don't see a problem. A Dersh in the back might also be pretty darn nice, but at the same time, so is just a Landorus or a Fluttermane in the back. I definitely want Indidus here.
Between Landorus and Flutter. Landorus, Flutter, Landorus, Flutter. I think Landorus. I think this is a Landorus game. Not to mention, with the gravity boost, that's like 100% accurate, uh... Sandseer Storms. Could have come in handy. I can even hit that Zapdos with the Sandseer Storm. Zapdos can't even hide from that thing. Even though Zapdos shouldn't be a flying type anyway, it is quite literally not flying. It's the opposite of flying. It's, it's, it's running. Things that fly, do they also run? I don't think so. Can an eagle run? Has anyone ever seen an eagle run? My opponent has five seconds left. They better could turn to their switch and decide what they want to do. Zero seconds on the clock. Let's see what they decided to do. All right, well, they, what they didn't decide to do is make a trainer card. Gonna be Dersh and Ogre. Fine by me, I think. We just do the thing. We just start now. Hypnosis Dersh. What will Dersh do? Man, screw it, gravity. Let's do it. I outspeed a Dersh with a speed booster. I'm so confident here. I have so much faith in the crown. I know crown can outspeed with the speed booster. I know it can. Now, if they are a scarf Dersh, that might change my mind soon. But we shall see. They withdraw the Dersh. Okay, well, they have nothing that is immune to hypnosis, so I don't mind. Not even you. Oh, fine. Oh, this is great. Hypnosis was free? Neat. I don't mind that at all. All right, you go to bed. Bye. Enjoy your nap. All right, I think we hard swap the crown now. Because Yen Mega outspeeds the Ogre Pond even. Hypnosis, you. Heart swap into Landy. <laughs> this feels good, dude. This feels dirty. Yeah, and Mega. Minding its own business. Taking over the meta. Oh, that's such a good point. Like, we don't even have to use a Spathra anymore. We have Yen Mega. We don't even have to use uh, Sandy Shocks anymore. We have Iron Crown. As our gravity speed booster, which is so much faster than shocks. It's literally just a spat through shocks all over again, except we're running M <laughs> Yad Mega and Crown. Alright, hard swapping out. Going in Landy. Fear me, everybody. Something's to rastalize. I'm gonna burn Terra immediately here. That's great news for me, by the way. Because now they're... <laughs> Now they can't avoid my Sandseer Storm with with uh, the big guy with the Archaladon. Yeah, go to bed. Bye. <laughs> this is so dirty. I love it. Okay. Yep, still fast asleep here. Yeah, we just clicked the fun buttons now. Now it's just fun buttons. Fun buttons for days. Let's Tailwind it up, and let's do our thing. Tailwind. No need to Terrasalize yet. We Sands here. Good luck! Good luck, our Chalodon! They withdraw. Nothing at all wants to take this hit, though. What wants to take this hit? I have Gravity up. Not even you want to take this hit, buddy. Not even you. Sands here! <laughs> Free damage. Give me that burn. No burn. That's fine. All right. Good news is I could do that literally right again. This time I'm going to bug buzz here. Yeah. Bug buzz stands here. Hopefully that's enough to knock. I don't know. It's close. It's definitely close. Oh, yeah. It's, it, it's going to knock. Perfect. Bug Buzz did way too much damage there. Oh, we are set up to sweep, baby. 
<laughs> this feels way too good. This, this is Yan Mega right now. This quite literally is Yan Mega. Like, what do you do? I'm plus four now. I am outspeeding anything. All right, back into Dersh and back into our Chalodon. Listen, buddy. Nothing personal, but hypnosis <laughs> and sense. <laughs> yup, that's how that goes. That's exactly how that goes. Keep turn, you better keep turn your way back home. G, geez. Up against Sergio. You know what? I'm. So, I have so much faith. And yeah, and Mega now, anything could happen and I wouldn't be surprised. Let's just do it again. I, I think we just do it again and don't care. Bring the NDD in the back because why the heck wouldn't we? And last but not least, I don't actually think we go Landorus here. Maybe it's Flutter. Yo, original trainer name is Kev Dog. Respect. Um, yeah, maybe it's Flutter. Maybe it's Dersh. Dersh isn't, like, awful here. It's not the best, though. It could also still be Landorus. Yeah, screw it. I'm still doing Landorus. Because, I mean, worst case scenario, I just use poison moves on, on their grass type. So, it's fine. Not to mention that Blurse doesn't appreciate special attacks at all. That's, I just realized that's a solo Blurse. It's just a Blurse outside of Trick Room just being a Blurse. Hey, listen. You do you, man. The Blurse does what the Blurse wants. And what the Blurse wants is what the Blurse does. Sergio with the f t miniature palm odds? What's going on? Tornadus Ursaluna. Fascinating. Does Blurse outspeed me? Nah, right? This is a Tailwind did Blurse outspeed. I don't believe so, but I'm also going to Tailwind to match. Just in case I'm going to Water Terror, because you never really know, you know? I want to take an Earth Power and just get one shot for no reason by like a max speed Choice Scarf Blurse. <laughs> you never really know, man. So let me keep this simple. Let me go for the water there. And let's see what they decide to do here. Fine. N neat. Okay, this is... Okay, we're... F get ready. <laughs> get ready, folks. We're about to pop off. That's all I gotta say. We're about to pop off. Alright, who are we putting to bed first? That is the question on everyone's minds. I think we put Torn to sleep. Personally. We focus blast the Ursa Luna. It's not gonna knock the Ursa, I don't think so, at least. I'd be surprised if it did. Never mind, baby! Bye bye! Oh, that is so dang good. I love this team. Rectangle difference. Call me a square, because I love this team. All right, Torn's going to bed. Bye. Bye, Torn. I know you tried to go for Bleak Wind and take advantage of my of my gravity, but hey, maybe next time. Ogre Pond. Hello, Ogre Pond. How are you doing today? All right, I'm actually going to swap out here, go into my Indeeter. Ah, maybe not. Why would I? I'm just hypnosis you. I'll go for the expanding force on the torn. I know it's not boosted. They just left. They said, nah. I don't want any part of this. I will not be in the Poke Sports video. Guess what, Sergio? Too bad you still are. <laughs> what the heck, man? Let's do it again. Let's just keep doing it. All right, we got another Blurse. This one with a Fridge Raff as a friend. Okay. Nothing that we can't handle with literally the exact same thing we've been doing this entire time. Uh, I, I don't even have to think anymore. 
There's no thinking needed. I do have to think about what flavor of uh, backline I'm gonna bring. Like one of these, this is the hardest decision I have to make. Like these three, easiest decision ever. These three on the bottom, hardest decision I have to make. But I believe Landorus is the play. I might also need to terrestrialize the Landorus here. We'll see. We shall see. But in all honesty, I have so much faith in Yam Mega that I, I don't even know anymore. I might run this to the GC at this point. Like, just bring this kind of nonsense to the GC. Best of luck, opponent. Good luck. Have fun. More like good luck. Don't have any fun. All right, messy hair glasses. Brother out here looking like me. Gonna go for a giraffe and a fluter. Fridge a looter main. All right, I'll fly getting shadow ball. They'll be real. Not a big fan of a shadow ball. So what I'll do is I'll water terra hit gravity and put everything into sleep. Because that's what we do around here. The water terror should help me with the with the shadow ball. I don't know if I bother heart swapping my Ndidi here. I'm not gonna have a great way to knock out this this for a giraffe, unfortunately. Oh wait, what am I saying? I have I have bug bust. I actually have a great way to knock out for a giraffe. They might tear because of it. If they tear because of it, then I might actually swap in Ndidi and just start expanding forcing things. Okay, there's my terror first. That makes sense. Now this is a this is a this is an iron crown without tachyon cutter. I don't know if this flutter main uh, is scared of that tachyon cutter anyway though. It could be. Oh, it does. It isn't. Okay, this flutter main has a has a lot of machismo. All right, gonna go for the shadow ball. Not gonna do any damage. And go to sleep. Haha. <laughs> Good luck. I mean, honestly, at this point, I should probably swap out. Ooh, I should swap out and go into my Landorus. Yeah, that's the play. Swap out, go into Landorus. And you, you go to bed. Everyone go to bed. Every single person here. Everyone to sleep. It's too late. You got school tomorrow. You got work tomorrow. You got a date tomorrow. You got... Alone time tomorrow? I don't know. Go to bed. Landy's coming. Okay. I'll get you next turn. Or... What? Thanks? Last time I checked, Flutter is slower than... Uh, is faster than... Lander is. So, good luck with that one, bud. Uh, Hypnosis again. Oh, they just want to get their blurs on the field, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. I see why they did that. Oh, are they helping? Do they think they're going to live this? Sheer Force Life Form Slush Bomb? They might, actually. Oh! What do you eat? Okay, I might lose. What is that Flutter main eating? Oh, back to bed you go. All right, let's undo that trick room real quick. Not a big fan of that trick room. Get the Indeed on the field. That Flutter main is thick, dude. I, I'm sad that I wasted my attack with Landorus like that. I should have just gone for the Earth Power. All right, let's Trick Room. Let's just hit Detect for now. It's actually a hard swap here. Okay, so thankfully we are un undoing the Trick Room, so we should be okay. Into the Rilla. To change my terrain. Okay. Listen, my opponent's gaming. I can respect the gaming. This is my hardest matchup so far. All right, they're gleaming.
Yeah, this is a rough matchup. I'll be real. Because it's not like I can go back into my... My dude right now. Because I'm a water Terra. He might see that coming and just wood hammer me. Oh, but I put him to sleep, right? So I could just go to the entire crown. Go for the Gnosis. And work my way from there. Not an easy game. I haven't done damage to anything on my opponent's side of the field. And looking at this Fluttermane special defense stat, I don't even know what to do anymore. All right, they fake out Yen Mega, which means they're not get going for a Grassy Glide, which is all that I really wanted. Oh, my poor Yen Mega! No! Oh, yeah, my win condition's gone now. I might just lose. There's good news and bad news here. Mostly bad news, though. Gravity returning to normal doesn't matter. I have no good Pokemon left, and my opponent's team is apparently made of Kryptonite. I don't know, dude. That was a thick flood. I've never seen a Fluttermane take a Life Orb Sheer Force boosted Sludge Bomb that well. All right, anyway. We expanding force. We helping hand, and we pray? I don't even know. Because now they just have to swap out Rillaboom. They'll be able to Grassy Glide me later. Yeah, it's not a good, it's not a good look for my team right now. Back into the fridge. Yeah. Listen, my opponent's just playing well. They're not letting my gimmick win! Fine! Fine, look at you, you really good player. That legitimately did some damage, though. Okay. We take that. I'm going to Expanding Force and just keep going for the Helping Hand, because why not? I got no reason not to for now. They're going to Rillaboom swap. I just don't know into which spot. It's most likely going to be the Fridge Wrap slot. That's why I at least want to make sure I get some damage off on this Fluttermane. Before the actual Rillaboom comes out on the field. Ah, oh, I'm so sad. My poor Yen Mega didn't stand a chance. I got so confident. Oh, they actually swap into the Rillaboom there? Okay. Alright, there goes the grassy terrain. Here's a helping hand. We'll see how much damage we could actually do to, do to the Rillaboom. I don't think it's going to be much, though. Oh, okay. That was more than I thought it would be. Now, they can either fake me out or wood hammer me. I'm an expanding force. You could also grassy glide me here. Why would they though? I'm gonna follow me. Expanding force, follow me. That's all I have to do. They wake. Oh, they're attacking! I knew it! I knew it! They're just going to glide me. I'm so glad I clicked follow me here. I thought about that turn a little bit longer than I should have. And honestly, it's panning out. Yeah. They were just going for the KO. They're not getting it, though. All right. Well, Rilla's gone. That's just the beginning of the problems, though. I mean, my problems are still here. <laughs> I still have problems. They have, like, two more Pokemon. Plus this Ferrigiraph left. I don't even know how I'm knocking that thing out. Yeah, it's not its not a good look right now. It's not a good look for us. All right, back in a flutter, because why wouldn't you? Um, I'm going to go for a focus miss, and I'm going to trick room their trick room. Because I have a feeling they're going to trick room. Oh, no, they're just going to Fairy Terror Helping Hand and, and blow me up. I see. Oh, okay. <laughs> they're not trick rooming. They're not trick rooming. Not at all. 
I mean, honestly, being in Trick Room actually would be better for me. Oh no, they're going for the, the KO button. We live at 13 somehow. Ah, oh, the special attack. Okay. In case the game wasn't already over, it's even more over now. I did hit the focus blast, but I got the special attack drop. And they're hungry. Oh, well. Oh, but I, I predicted the trick room correctly. Oh, not when I predicted it right. Not that it matters. <laughs> oh, well. This game feels like... I, I feel like I lost this a year ago, but I'm still playing it. <laughs> Why am I still here? Why are we still here? I'm going to expanding for something, I guess. And let's go for the follow me, because why not? This is... There's no win condition here anymore. I'm just playing it out to play it out. Alright, they switch over to that something. GG. <laughs> but you know what? We got three wins with the Ad Mega. Three decisive wins. We couldn't beat this team, though, because my opponent... I don't know. They opened their third eye. They were they were ready for Yan Mega. That Flutter main, I still don't know what that set is in that Flutter main, but the fact that I just ate that sh that Sludge Bomb from my my Landorus and spat it back out at me is hilarious and terrifying that a Flutter main is allowed to do that in this meta. That is nuts. That is insane. Anyway, Rectangle Diff, thanks so much for posting this team on the Pokey Sport Discord. I had an absolute blast playing this team. If you guys had a blast watching today's video, consider hitting the like button on your way out and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Anyway, if you need some more Poké Sports in your life, check out our Patreon, check out our YouTube memberships, check out our other videos, or just wait till tomorrow when we post another one at the exact same time that we do every single day. Anyway, I'll cut the Poké Sports. Have yourselves a, fanta a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out, and bye-bye.